Hey entrepreneurs, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to storyboard your videos for social media. So are you ready? Hey entrepreneurs, I'm Salma Jafri. I'm a video content strategist and you are in the right place. If you want to grow your personal brand with a video, be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. So you're the first to know when I upload a new video. Storyboarding, why is it so important? Well, four reasons. First of all, when you storyboard your videos, it adds clarity both for you as to what story you want to tell and for your audience when they become more receptive to your story because it's told in a clear way. The second reason you want to storyboard is it significantly reduces your production time. So because you've planned out your story in advance, you can just produce the video really fast. And the third reason is that when you storyboard your videos, you can fit them into a certain time frame. So a lot of social media platforms have restrictions like Instagram has 60 seconds, Twitter has 60 second restrictions. Um, and also because attention spans are kind of dwindling. So you want to make sure that you are able to tell a story in a short frame of of time and storyboarding allows you to do that to be able to plan out how long you want your video to be. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a story that I made for my LinkedIn profile and I did this using wave video. So let's jump into the basics of storytelling and scripting and how you do the prep work and then we'll get into wave video on how to execute the story that you have planned out. All right, so most stories have a pretty basic three-part structure, which is the beginning, middle, and end. So the story arc kind of goes through these three you know, points like this. You start with the introduction, which is your establishing. Where are you? What's happening? So describe to the audience where in time you are, where in place you are. Then you start with the problem. What is the main problem that this story is going to be talking about and potentially solving? And then you escalate the problem. So you add all the things that are going wrong and all the things that are not working out until you reach a crescendo or a climax of your story. And then of course comes the resolution and how you are able to solve all the problems in your story and then what is your conclusion or in marketing videos we often call the conclusion our CTA which leads to our call to action what we want our audience to do at the end of hearing that particular story. So this is like a very basic story arc and if you've seen any of my YouTube videos where I talk about video script you know that my VET formula my video engagement timeline follows the story arc for all of my YouTube videos. So the first thing I want to do is write a script. That is where the magic starts from. So you take all the points of your story, your introduction, problem, climax, resolution, CTA, write them down in your left hand column. And then in the right hand column, write down what each of these sections is going to contain. What's the story you're going to tell? So for example, for my story, I wanted to tell the story of how I got started with an online business. And so it all started. So I'm, I'm establishing this now. August 2006. Where was I? I was in Germany. What was I doing? I was attending my sister's wedding. I had just come back from attending her, her wedding. So that is my establishing script where I'm letting the audience know, okay, when does this story start and kind of just helping them to jump into the story on where I am. The problem was that as soon as I got back from my sister's wedding, two days later, my entire department was downsized and I did not have a job anymore. So I was out of a job and for the first time in nine years, I had been out of a job. So it's a pretty big deal. Then the climax of this is not only was I out of a job, but two weeks later, I found out that I was pregnant with my first child. And so it became complicated because I was about to lose an income stream, but I had mixed emotions because I was excited about having a baby. And so, you know, it was a time to make some difficult decisions. The resolution was a three-part resolution that I eventually decided on in my story. I decided I was going to leave nine to five. I decided I was become going to become a full-time mom. And I decided that this was going to be the beginning of when I start an online business working from home for myself. And my call to action or my conclusion was to see videos from me, to see my journey, to see what I'm doing. Here's a link to my YouTube channel. Follow me there. So after you have written your script, it's time to storyboard your video. And I like doing this with pen and paper because it just allows me to identify what visuals go with what aspects of the story. So what I would do is I would split the screen, like for example, here into eight, 
you know, sections of the story. And for each section, I want to identify what the visuals are going to be. So for the introduction, I want to put a wedding pic. For the problem, I want to put the wedding pic with some text overlay which talks about the problem. For the climax, I want to show a video from the Wave Video Library of stock videos. I want to show something that shows conflict, resolution, mixed emotions. For the code, I want to show something inspirational. Um, and for the three resolutions, I want to show very literal resolutions. Made a decision to quit 9 to 5. Then the second one is a video showing the start of motherhood. And the third one is a video showing somebody working from home. And then finally, for the conclusion and CTA, I want to use my family pictures and my business screenshots and add in a CTA, which is really easy to do in Wave Video. So now let's see how I transition the storyboard into wave video and actually make this video. All right, so here I am in my wave.video account. And if you've watched my previous video, I'm going to link to it up here in the info card on how to use wave video to create social videos. So all that video has all the stuff about how to put in pics and fonts and images and text and videos and, and how to just edit it all together and music and all of the things that you need to make your video. So in this one, I'm going to show you how I storyboard this. So the first thing that I did was I added all the custom pictures that I needed to. So I wanted a picture of the wedding. So that was the picture of the wedding. And then since there's so many people here, I wanted another picture showing where I was. So I added a that's me arrow showing where I was in the wedding. And then I wanted to add in some happy family pictures that will go in the end. So these were the two ones that I added in here. And also one picture of my business and YouTube channel. So this was the one that I chose. So one, two, three, four, five. So these were the five images that I uploaded to Wave. Then in my editing timeline, I added my establishing text according to my script. So the first picture went up with, it was August 2006, my sister's wedding. And then in the next one, I'm showing, hey, that's me, right? And then in the third one, I'm showing the conflict. I didn't know I was about to lose my job and find out that I was pregnant in the same month. And then in the fourth one, I'm showing that this was causing a lot of emotional frustration, right? And so this is the stock video that I took from Wave by going to Wave's search and going into their photo library, which is super extensive, and also their video library, 200 million royalty-free video clips, photos, and images. So I typed in something like women holding her head and frustrated, upset, and you can see that all of these come up. And I could have chosen any one of these, like for example, this one, and you can preview them right inside the application, right? So it shows you exactly what you want. And so I chose one clip from here and put this one in. Then the next step of the process was, so I wanted to put something exciting about you know, that I was going to be a mom. And so I again went into Waves video search and I typed in woman kissing baby. And this was the one that came up that I really liked. And if you preview this, you'll see it's an 11 second clip, but I didn't use the entire 11 seconds. I just used about, I think two or three seconds of this. So I didn't show the baby. I just showed a mom kissing a baby's feet. And you can do that in wave. You can take the entire video clip and then trim it down to the section that you want to use. So this is the part that I used in this clip. It was just a three second part. And the reason I'm keeping these short is because I wanted to keep this video under 60 seconds. So in my editing timeline right here, every time you add a video clip or you trim it down, you can see the total time for your video. So I really love this feature where you can see how long your final output is going to be while you're editing. And then the next stuff that I wanted to add was about opportunity. So this is where I put in my code. Every problem is an opportunity in disguise. And the video I chose to go with that was one of a door opening and light flooding in. All right, and let's jump to where I talk about the CTA. So this was one of the CTAs where I showed my YouTube channel and then the family pictures come at the end. And then finally my call to action asking people here, this is where you go for more videos. 
So this was the editing timeline. So you can see that because I had a script and a storyboard to work with, I was able to choose images for each frame and I didn't have to waste time thinking about how to put the story together. And that's a real concern when you're dealing with um, a lot of photo images and stock video, you sometimes get lost because there's so much choice. And so making a storyboard gives you clarity on exactly what you want to show, what image or photo you want to show. And if you type in words that describe that scene exactly, then it's just a faster process. You don't have to scroll through tons and tons of video and images to find the perfect one that you're looking for. The final icing on the cake is music and I you know wanted to choose music that conveyed a sense of family because that was the underlying theme and I wanted to show that there were ups and downs but in the end our family and our business it com comes together for my you know ideal work life scenario and so I found this amazing music. And what you can do is every time you find music in wave and you just hover over it, it plays the soundtrack. And also it shows you the wave format um, of that music file. And so this is something I use to determine what kind of music I want because I wanted music that built up to a crescendo. And if you look at the wave file of this music, you can see that it starts off like a smaller wave pattern and then it builds up and builds up and that's exactly what I was looking for. And if I just hover over this, it's gonna play. So you can actually just listen um, and preview your music and then just simply add it in. You can, you can click use and it's gonna add it in to your final timeline. So now let's see the full video in its entirety. Let me play it for you. So what did I do with this video? I put it up on my LinkedIn profile because I wanted to share this as a LinkedIn video. And I also plan to put it up on my about page because it's a great creation story of you know how I decided to start. And what I, if you've seen my episode on primal branding where I interviewed the author of the book Primal Branding and he talked about the importance of having a creation story. And so that's why I made this video to show people how I got started online. And um, if you come to my LinkedIn profile here, this is where I put up this video and you can see that here. And it's already got 642 views, which is amazing. I think it's doing really well. And so as I, you know, I can use this story anywhere. I can use it on my about page, on my website, on my Facebook account, um, on my Instagram, on my Twitter. I can use it as an introduction when I'm on stage. So there's so many different uses of having a story um, and being able to storyboard a video like this. If you want to use Wave as well to make these amazing storyboarded social videos for all of your social media networks or your websites or web assets, then go to the link in the description below. You're going to get a discount code for 40% off just for a limited time only and just for you as a thank you for watching this video from me. Let me know in the comments below what type of social videos you want to make. What kind of stories do you want to tell? As always, remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.